Uh, hi, friends. Thank you very much for joining. Today, we have uh, Yadhard Sant, who is joining us uh, to share his journey about his gate preparation. Thank you, Yadhard, on behalf of all of our team and students for taking the time. Yeah, thank you so much, sir, for inviting me. Hey, great, great. So uh, I believe uh, you enrolled for the gate applied course for two years, and you're also working professional yeah. with a couple of years of experience. So can you just give a background about your education and work experience so that we have a much more realistic context of where you're coming from? Uh, sure, sir. So uh, I'm a 2018 uh, computer science pass out uh, from uh, Mumbai University. And uh, I had appeared uh, for the very first time in gate 18. And that time uh, I didn't uh, really prepare much. So I got a uh, rank more than 1000. Uh, later on, uh, I started uh, my professional journey and then I uh, enrolled in Applied Gate in 2019. I started my preparation for Gate 2020 and it really went well. But unfortunately, I was not uh, very well satisfied with my rank. So I decided that since I have uh, been, uh, since I got such a good guidance from Applied uh, team and I thought that my concepts are even more clearer uh, than early. Uh, then earlier, uh, uh, then the earlier previous attempt. So I decided I'll uh, go for one more attempt in 2021. And since uh, during this uh, pandemic time, we had a work from home thing. So for me, it was, you know, quite easy to balance between uh, my work life and uh, this uh, gate preparation. Like for most of the working professionals, this work from home thing has become challenging, but I rather uh, turn that disadvantage into my own advantage so that I was able to focus more on my concepts and uh, I did a, a lot of practice and uh, I closely interacted with the mentors from Applied Gate. I tried to focus on the mistakes which I committed during my Gate 20 preparation and I tried to minimize it uh, and uh, kept it to the minimum. And uh, that is the reason uh, that 2021 went uh, much better than Gate So, 20. So you got uh, set one or set two? Just curious. Uh, set one. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So uh, you also, it's a very nice, interesting thing that you mentioned that you tried in 2020, you did not make it, but you did not quit your job. You continued in your job and pursued this parallelly, right? If I'm not wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Got it. So what, so again, you you prepared once in 2020, again in 2021. So of course, in 2021, you would have covered all the concepts once. So your preparation strategy yes, would be different. But for somebody who's preparing for the first time, what is the learning strategy that you would recommend as a working professional? Because you have to balance your work and also the learning, right? So what was your strategy? What worked, what worked for you? Uh, so what really worked for me uh, was trying to realize the concepts which we used to uh, study in theory and try to apply it in practice. Like uh, we all know about uh, subjects like DBMS, uh, data structures, algorithms, which are important part of gate syllabus. And uh, fortunately, uh, this is something which we encounter in a real world too. Like uh, being a software engineer, we, uh, it is uh, rarely a day that we don't interact with the database there or we don't interact or we don't use the DSLO concepts anywhere. So what I really uh, thought of doing that whatever I'm learning from applied gate or from reference books and it will be used for my gate preparation. Why don't I really try and apply it in real too? So that, uh, uh, you know, it's sort of like I was trying to revise all my concepts, uh, which I learned into my work experience. And that turned out to be a really very good balance. As and a backend really, engineer, uh, you also got more yeah. opportunities to do so. While yes, everybody sir. may not be fortunate, you got lucky because you're designing the backend systems where you'll see operating yes. systems, databases, all of it interacting actually in the real world. So Yes, yes, sir. Cool, cool. And, very nice, very uh, nice. The main preparation strategy which I followed, I tried to cover the related subjects together. Like I covered uh, the mathematics, discrete maths and aptitude all together. Uh, okay. I made sure I understand all the concepts and uh, solve all the previous year questions and attempt the subject wise test series. Uh, then I went on to some easy subjects like digital logic. Uh, then I focused more on CUI because I thought uh, it is, uh, I'm not really very good in that subject. Uh, and then I went forward with OS, uh, computer networks. And in the last, I did data structures algorithm because I was quite confident in that. Uh, oh. But uh, I used to revise all the subjects in uh, between. Like if I'm preparing, uh, say, C or DSLGO, I used to revise some other subjects like OS just to make sure that I recollect those concepts. 
valid valid that's a good point because otherwise you'll forget because the syllabus is so vast it's so easy yes, to forget everything yes sir true true so another thing was as a working professional how did you manage your time not forget about covid time because covid we all got lucky yes, especially working professionals got more time but pre covid yes, how were you managing your time because the first time you prepared for gate how did you manage between your day to day work and the gate prep what was your time management strategy like uh so in time management i used to wake up a little early like uh, one hour early i used to study for uh, 45 minutes to one hour uh before going to office uh, once i uh, after coming uh, back home i used to study for one hour more uh, so daily uh, monday to friday it was around 2 to 2 and a half hours and uh, weekend i used to stretch uh, like up to 9 to 10 hours uh, daily Uh, and uh, that's uh, actually uh, uh, depending you know on certain conditions like uh, suppose if i'm not really feeling well or if i'm uh, being very much uh, overwhelmed by the studies or the content i used to skip in between but uh, i used to maintain my consistency like uh, there was not even a single day when i didn't revise anything so i used oh, to so ensure... you are persistent and consistent yes so i used to ensure that uh, you know i am going with the flow because if i somehow break in between then uh, you know it's quite easier to relax rather than to struggle <laughs> very true very true because yeah. once one day you slack and you take break that will become a habit the next day and you'll yes. fall into that trap yes sir exactly very true very true very true so very interesting so what suggestions will you give for somebody who is a working professional like you with one to two years experience on what is a best strategy because like you said right first time you couldn't crack it but you were not demotivated you continued your job gave your best so what what would your suggestions be because there are a lot of working professionals with yes. anywhere from 2 to 5 years experience some of them even with one year experience who want to try gate what would your top 3 recommendations be for them so the first recommendation uh, would be uh, to be consistent and uh, not to delay uh, any preparation uh, strategy like if they have thought that i want to uh, attempt gate 2022 then we should start from uh, right away uh, rather than waiting for the correct time or the you know proper time because that time will uh, never really come and uh, start with the subjects which uh, we feel it is easy like for some people programming will be easy for some people uh, mathematics will be easy so start with the easy subjects so that uh, we are able to cover majority of the syllabus uh try to uh, uh in order to ensure that we have completely covered a subject always try to stick with the previous year questions and uh, moreover uh, try to solve more and more difficult problems from different uh, uh, exams too like we have uh, exams like isi and tifr which uh, go hand in hand with gate and which are slightly are more difficult than gate yes, yes, so yes. they would be very much helpful and last but not the least doesn't matter what happen uh never ever leave any subject for option because <laughs> even if we hate it uh, we have to accept that each and every subject will have an equal weightage in gate not equal but at least you know uh, 7 to 8 marks would be the minimum yes so yes, yes. we can't really directly can't lose on that anything if you want to get a yeah. good rank as simple as that yes yes sir very nice very nice points that you mentioned so another thing that i wanted to understand from your learning strategies is uh, uh how many questions did you practice so you focus you said very nicely that you focused on previous year questions also slightly harder questions from other competitive exams because isi questions tend to be more mathematically heavy yes ef are also more mathematically heavy yes. and that, that's good because your your chennai mathematical institute has slightly harder questions these are these are slightly harder but good so what was how many previous year questions did you solve overall amongst the 5000 practice questions you have did you tackle all of them how did you tackle the practice part of solving questions uh so practice part i used to uh, try to tackle the questions topic wise so the easiest topics in all the subjects i used to pick them and i used to uh, do a thorough analysis of uh, my own performance i used to try to you know uh, uh, note down where in uh, in which particular subjects in which particular topics am i lacking then uh, if i feel that i need a refresher of the concept then i used to uh, uh, revisit the applied gate portal uh, watch some videos on that uh, even if i feel that uh, okay still i am not you know very much comfortable with this then i used to uh, read from some reference books and, and then when i used to tackle the same problem again it become a little bit easier Got so uh, 
for difficult part i used to uh, sort of reiterate on it uh, but at the same time uh, if i really feel that it is getting uh, too much then i used to take a break from that topic uh, i used to remember that i have to come back to this topic and then i used to cover the remaining uh, easier topics Got but uh, in the end i used to cover that so how many previous year questions did you solve uh, i mean in total amongst all the questions we have in our repository how many did you end up solving before the examination uh sir i get uh, i guess uh, right from the year 1990 uh, to uh, to till date like uh, 2020 okay, i saw all of almost Very yeah nice. and uh, since i had also attempted gate 2020 so i decided that i'll take it as a mock exam just few days before the final exam Very good. to know uh, means how am i able to face the paper which i actually faced in an you know examination environment very good very good strategy very interesting strategy anything else that you want to share about your learning or journey that i probably have missed out uh sir uh, uh one thing which i would like to share and which i have observed in many of my fellow aspirants is that uh, most of them tend to give up in the end uh, usually in the time of you know like a uh, december or january uh, it is uh, not a phase of like giving up or maybe they, uh, because they are too much tired but uh, what strategy I really applied is that whenever I used to feel that I'm, you know, getting a bit tired, I used to take a uh, small little, little breaks in between. I used to uh, focus on study related part. Like I, I used to do coding, just normal coding, uh, nothing related to gate as such. Uh, and then I used to get back to gate preparation. And in this uh, way, I used to keep myself self-motivated because uh, this kind of self-motivation uh, we need uh, till the last minute, even on those uh, three hours, like uh, even in the uh, even when I saw the set one paper, like set two was even more difficult. We know that, but uh, even when I saw the set one paper, I understood that this is not like last year. This yes. is something Most different for sure. And uh, the best, uh, the best and the worst part was like we never knew which question is for how many marks. Uh, also, there were MSQs, so uh, everything was quite jumbled up. But I sort of thought that okay, just. Uh, let me reiterate over this all 65 questions again and again till the time I find, uh, you know, my perfect questions, which I want to surely attempt. Okay. And yeah. uh, so I sort of uh, try to maintain my confidence till the end moment. And this is the most important thing because if we lose confidence in between, then our preparation will also, you know, start reflecting in that direction. Yes, yes, that's true. You give up in between, the game is over. It's as simple yes. as that. Yes. That's true. That's true. Hey, thanks a lot, uh, Yadharth, for taking the time and most importantly for sharing some very insightful points from your own learning journey because I'm sure this will inspire the next batch of students, some of them working professionals very similar to you in being consistent and persistent and not lose that, that sight of the end goal throughout the journey. Sometimes you fail, like you very rightly mentioned that 2020, you are not happy with your performance. So you didn't give up, you doubled down on it in 2021. And that sort of long-term thinking is very important for GATE. So thank you very much, Yadar. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you so much, sir.